Hey, it's Mojo in the Morning. You know something? I like saving money. Doesn't everybody? Well, have you heard about these home energy consultations that DTE is offering? Just schedule an appointment online and someone will come to your house to show you ways that you can save energy and lower your bill. I mean, that's unbelievable. There are so many ways that you can save by going into your home and looking room by room. And they've got the professionals that will do things like installing LED lights or programmable thermostats for you. And here's the best part. It's all absolutely free. After the consultation, they'll even customize your home energy report and make sure that you see the savings. I'm interested, aren't you? Go to dteenergy.com slash HEC or call 1-866-796-0512 to schedule. On this episode of the More Mojo podcast, someone in our building called... Reese, is it a bad name? I don't know if it's a bad name, but said something about Reese, and we're going to confront them on this podcast. That mojo ain't no good. Did uh, Reese uh, make it into the studio at all? Uh, no, I think he's in his office. No, he, uh, he is a... running an errand for me. He just got back. He'll be up in one second. What is he uh, running? What's the errand for you? Um, he is saving me the trip that I have to do after all the other stuff I have to do today to load up the ice cream truck for today. Oh, for the uh, World Series mm-hmm. Little League team. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Do you, you had to go out and buy all the ice cream yourself? Um, we had some, but I was talking to the assistant coach from their team yesterday, and yeah. I said, how many people do you expect, do you think, roughly? And he said, we're getting reports of upwards of 20,000. Oh, my God. <laughs> and we had, like, maybe mm, 200 pieces of ice cream uh, in our... Where do we keep this ice cream, said ice cream? <laughs> Why do we not know we where this ice cream is? We have a deep freezer in the garage, and then the ice cream truck itself, you can store ice cream in there. Oh. Mm-hmm. That doesn't Haven't seem like it would be good. you down to the garage? There's uh, all sorts of goodies I've down been, there. I've been in there once when they told when Randy told me, why are we saving this? I told uh, Spike this the other day, that uh, we were saving all of the costumes for every bit that we had ever done. <laughs> and Randy had asked if we can get rid of these costumes. And you're like, light them on fire. And I looked at some of these costumes, and they were from like 2012. And I'm like going, why did we save this? But like literally- we, 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 I guess we used to hoard things. A yes, lot. we did. And I don't think we're going to need to dress like- Honey Boo Boo again. You know, there's certain <laughs> oh, things we can. She, was, yeah. she made headlines again this week. <laughs> I know, know right? That. Well, I found out that this, you know, down in Taylor, this is quite the party tonight. They're going to have a whole rally in the Sheridan Center after the fireworks. Then they're doing fireworks. And I mean, it's a whole big thing. So, they should. Yeah. I think yeah. it's great. I mean, don't we need some more positive, fun things like in our lives right now? Like, well, Celebrating a little, that is no small feat for a little league team to beat every other team in the United States all the way up to the top. And we haven't had a champion in a while. The last time that we uh, celebrated a, a champion was uh, back when I'm trying to think, was it the Red Wings, maybe, right? Or it's either Red Wings or the Pistons. Pistons yeah. 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 So I went um, to college not far from the location of the World we the World Series of Little League every year where they play. I forget what it's called, Shreveport, Pennsylvania or something Pennsylvania. And uh the guy I lived with in junior year of college, he was this big oaf of a fraternity brother of my other roommate. He used to go down every World Series and sell beer to all the kids that were there for the Little League. Like, he had a business. He would set up his truck, and he would sit there and 12 sell. 12-year-old kids are buying beer? Like beer? And Well, all the, what happens is all their teenage kid siblings would have to come and camp out for four days watching them play and stuff. So he would sell it to the brothers and sisters of all these players. Wow. And he would sit there and sell them. <laughs> like, dude... Like, don't you ever worry that about sounds highly arrested? illegal? Yeah, yeah. This guy, I don't. He must be in jail by now. I, I mean, you ever meet a kid and think immediately this kid's gonna be least succe- <laughs> likely to yes. succeed? Like, I don't know how he got dressed without hurting himself in the morning. He was like a Frankenstein. Like he just grunted. He didn't talk. It'd Tell be- Reese to get uh, beer along with the ice cream. <laughs> we have an entire fridge full. I can't fit anymore in there. Um, I, well, I wanted to talk. Reset brought up a really funny thing about how uh, the person who does middays on our sister station right next door to us, oh, yeah. uh, Trudy Daniels, who Trudy's a legend in the Detroit market. She uh, is 
you know, part of the Drew and Mike uh, podcast now, but it was part of the Drew and Mike show. But I guess she had said something to him uh, the other day that seemed rather <laughs> insulting. And I, I, I was going to have him tell that, and I thought maybe I could bring Trudy in and yeah. have her explain. Because Tr- she's working next door Re- right now. Reese doesn't get what's going on. But with that said, I was looking at one of the that uh, uh, Instagram account of uh, shitty radio uh, DJ or whatever it is, or uh-huh. jock or something like that. And they, they had one when I was going to the bathroom just a couple minutes ago, and they had one. As a program director, which uh, which part or which day part would you get rid of right now if you could fire a day part? Ouch! And they they had and I thought to myself, I'm going, wow, that's interesting. That would be an interesting question for you know for listeners who don't understand what a day our part show. is. It's our shifts. Like there's a morning so, shift, there's a midday, afternoon, so, yeah. and night shocks, we're, and then overnight. We're mm-hmm. the we're Thank the morning you. show. So we're the morning show. Then we have a show that comes on at, at uh, eleven o'clock when we go off the air till you know two or three. Then you have an afternoon show that's on from like three till seven. Then the night show is on usually like seven to midnight. And then some stations don't have overnight shows. Some stations do. Some stations don't need them, and yet so for some reason we in Detroit do. We have Ellen mm-hmm. that does it. But um, but it's interesting. I, my start was nights. So I got to start doing the the night show. I was the seven to midnight person, and um, I I loved that shift. That is fun. <clears throat> I thought that shift was uh was great. Mike, you I know Mike came to our show from the night show. Yeah, yeah. It's a fun shift because y- you can still goof around a little bit and and do stuff like the morning show does, but you don't get the scrutiny of the program director or worse than general manager who listens on his way home to or on his way to the country club uh you know and complains about oh why did he say this why did he do this at night nobody knows you're even there right <laughs> no, no, basically no and then you go to a club usually right after that so it's like yeah. a party every single night i guess technically my first shift was nights too but i wasn't by myself i had a crush on the night doc and so i would come in and like do his show with him <laughs> and just we to would sit ju- there we would just make out the whole time <laughs> Really? Wow. Oh, so yeah, were you we technically hired or were you like an intern? I was at that time an intern, but but then God, I ended up getting hired. Risky. He's as risky yeah. as Spike's friend selling beer to kids. Yeah, yeah. I ended up getting hired to do weekends um, and like fill in stuff. Yeah. And then I got put on that morning show when they were like in crisis and looking for a co-host. And then I was the night left. guy now the morning guy that you were making out with or what was the story? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Did did he bring you on to the morning show so no. he could make out with you during no, the morning no, show? No, 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 no. That'd be uh-uh. awkward. He was not the program director. He was just the night guy. Oh, okay, all right. Um, but I, I'm, well, well, Megan, you started the morning show too, right? Didn't you start did. right right to the mornings? Mm-hmm. So you never, and I know you you do the middays and all the rest of that stuff. It's a difference. I do afternoons. It's a difference between that's your regular job and that's your added job. When that's your regular job, like that's your regular uh, shift, and Mike can attest to this. What time did you wake up to come to do the night show, Mike? Um, oh, I would have still been sleeping right now. Uh, probably uh, an hour before I came in, and so that was like no, no, probably about three o'clock. <laughs> so you, so you'd come in at three, and your show was at seven, and you'd come in at three basically just to be seen by everybody, right? Uh, well, yeah, I had to always do the the um, APD. So I like okay. So I begged to be the night show guy for years. I like applied for it, and then they shot me down. Applied for it, shot me down, and then I had been given the APD role, music director role. So I was doing that as well. So I had to come in early anyway. So they were gonna actually get rid of the night show job. They were gonna completely cancel it and just uh, you know have somebody from out of market do it. And I said, just let me do it. And they were like, oh well, it does. We don't. They basically just said, oh well, whatever. You know, they want. I don't know. If that's they how they. That's how radio it. thinks of the of these mm-hmm. night shows. But I. <laughs> oh well. And then I'm gonna humble brag for a minute. I don't care because that's how I went into it. I broke records in shares. Like I know I, you did. Nice. I, yeah, yeah. So then they were like, oh my god, we gotta, you know. And then that's when I got lucky enough to get second pick on the morning show. There you, <laughs> second, you can fuck you. <laughs> back up, back up to the back. Our, our lunch is going to be long tomorrow, by I the way. I've got a lot wait. of stuff to bring up to you. Did Reese make it back yet? I'll He's call. Here, 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 I'll call him. I'll call his. I'll call his phone. Because <laughs> I, I want to know exactly what the hell she said. Because I, I really think that we should figure that out. So it's nice that we at least have some live shows that do middays and things like that here. Mm-hmm. I know in Detroit we have uh, Sean and. Uh, Trudy and 
I don't know who else. Bushman, probably. In Reese Hold on a second. Him. I'm stalling while I find his, uh, his... I like that the one time Reese isn't in this room while we do the podcast is the one time he needs to talk on it. I know. <laughs> yeah. Did she say something? Was it really mean? I guess, was, she, I guess she said something. That, I, so yeah. here's the thing. She's a total sweetheart, and she's very nice. And I don't think she realizes what she says can be taken as an insult. Really? Yeah. I think what she said... Do you think she has Tourette's? I think she was... I, I think and she, she like trying to just acknowledge them, and it was her way of saying hi or saying something cute. But it really every time she walks past me, so. she goes. <gasps> I don't really? Know why. Yeah. Is she hot in you or hot in the, this place? Because no, I hot mm-hmm. this place a lot. She just grunts in general, like she's. Uh, is she the blonde lady? Yes. She's, yes. She's not very. Ch- she oh. likes. To, she's not very chatty. She likes okay. to slam her doors, and she's kind of like keeps to herself. But she's very nice when you get to know her. Um, why is he not answering my phone? Does he not? Maybe he's got a, a fistful of ice cream or something right now. <laughs> no, he texted me 11 minutes ago and said he was back. And I said, I'll help you unload after the podcast come up here. So okay. probably unloading probably doing now. Doing Wait, you were going to leave you. the ice cream just sitting there melting yes, in the he car? he needs to be up here. I'm trying to make the schedule work today. I'm trying. <laughs> Jesus. Race. Fuck. Answer your goddamn phone. <laughs> Poor Ellen. Ra- hey, yo. Race, hey. where are you? What up? Where are Downstairs. you? Downstairs. Quick question. Uh, we're on. The, we're on the podcast right now. What did okay. What did Trudy call you the other day, or call you and Katie? She called me a juvenile. <laughs> <laughs> a but she like whispered it under her breath, didn't she? Yeah, but she was. She was. It was kind of aggressive. I'm not gonna lie. So paint the but picture. Yeah. What? Because you said she walked by. Me and Katie are just kind of casually sitting there on the couch, minding our own business, and I said hi. You know, being the nice guy I am. And she kept walking and then kind of walked into her studio and whispered. Go get her. Bring her in here. Juvenile. Just tell her one. Um, okay, do you think she we're... meant for you to hear it or do you think she was saying it to herself? What was that? What, do you think she intended for you to hear it? Oh, I think she intended for me to hear it all right. Yeah. Are, are you a juvenile? I mean, I, I, I am I, a juvenile. I, I mean, she's not wrong. I look at you and I, and I think to myself, you don't seem very juvenile, but you seem... You seem like, uh, you know, you're the age of what it could be considered to be a juvenile. You know what I mean? I like, think she was referring more to my age than like a okay. troublemaker. All right, we're going to find I'm out. Thinking. Where's she at? Is she in there? She's coming in. Trudy, <laughs> where's Trudy at? We want to know why. Trudy. Oh, she's doing Trudy. a show. She's got, she's on the air right now. She's in, in, in the show. Okay. Trudy. Trudy, we're on a, Trudy, we're on a podcast here right now. You know what that's like, right? <laughs> I don't know what By the way, is. can I ask you a question? When you, when you know what you, that is? Because you're on Drew and Mike's. I mean, it's different because they have listeners and we have like yeah, they have what, millions. When you do when you do the the Drew and Mike podcast, yeah. are you guys do you guys do it as one like you're doing a like you guys do it in segments or you do the whole thing li- uh, live? No, it's like our show. So it's like the show. Yeah. All right, good. So it, and then that's, that's nice because go. then you then you know you only have to be there for. However long you're going to be doing the thing for. Oh, That's a long fucking time, though. <laughs> with prep, five hours. Do you miss, by the way, uh, with the Drew and Mike podcast, do you miss uh, the days of... of Smelling uh, cigarettes and... No, no. The, well, or the days of, oh, no, like... That's, that's still a thing. Do you, <laughs> do you get breaks, though? That's the thing. is That's a long time to sit there and be shooting the shit, right? Um, well, I get a break when I take Lila, his new out-of-control puppy, upstairs to zip her into her house for barking. God. <laughs> <laughs> That's Did you ever think that your job would consist of that? <laughs> of, of, yeah, puppy sitting. Yeah, and, right. Uh, yeah, no. We all have. We all wear a lot of hats nowadays in radio. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, considering my job used to be sitting next to strippers when that, they came in. That is to, true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, put. You have headphones on there. Yeah, I do. All right, Reese. Do you know who Reese is? Reese works uh, for us. He does all of our internet stuff and yeah. web stuff. Reese, you said that Trudy the other day called you something, and you wanted to take an explanation <laughs> on this. Uh oh. <laughs> Yeah. What's up, Trudy? Hey, Reese. What'd I say? How, how's it going? Long time no see. Uh, um, I uh, vaguely uh-oh. heard while uh, me and Katie were just sitting on the couch the other day, mm-hmm. we could have swore so you heard company. or we heard you say the word juvenile. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did you call these? Did you call Reese a juvenile? He thinks that you were called him wait, a juvenile. Wait, wait, come on. <laughs> what? Because he. He, I, I've heard Dick before referred to with Reese. I've never heard Juvenile before. Uh, no. no okay. I don't think Juvenile. I could have been, um, I don't know. Was I muttering to myself? 
Um, I, I think you were, but it was like a loud mutter. I, I told him you have Tourette's. Do you have Tourette's? Do we have, has that ever been uh, diagnosed? No, it's not. <laughs> like you, you do you randomly walk down? Juvenile? Yeah, well. <laughs> you didn't yell Jew, did you? That wasn't, that wouldn't no. be appropriate. No. Oh, okay. Trudy, do, no. Trudy, oh, no. with, do, do you, do you, cause I've heard, I'm, occasionally when I've walked by you in the hallway, occasionally you can hear your disdain towards something. What? But no, you're never, and I don't, I, <laughs> I think it's you never, guys have really got this bizarre opinion, you is, know, of like what's going on in my head. I sometimes think out loud when I'm doing my breaks, so I'll admit that. Oh, so that's what and, it is. Okay. And we're playing music that could be construed as juvenile. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> but I got nothing, you know. I mean, dude, you're uh, you're cool. It, you know, just don't. Who do you like the least out of all of us, though? Tell <laughs> tell me. I, I want to know that. Honestly, um, you, you well, got to pick one. If you're gonna pick one, pick one now. I I have to say when we're vying for the gym, possibly. Oh, Alan, Alan. Pointing at producer Alan. <laughs> Maybe fair. Alan. Megan told me she hates me on air today too, so I'm really. 10% <laughs> we have a, we have a, That's so not fair and out of context. Um, I'll pull the tapes. We have a little mini gym in this building, but you guys, there's there's like nine Planet machines. Vegas. Do you only yeah. want to work? You work solo. You don't it's want so anyone in there. It's tight in there. It's like weird to be in there. With you know what? It, we like, were we were working out, and it was during pan, you know pandemic. Ah, uh, so you're trying yeah. to do one person protocols, at a time. Yeah. right? Yeah, because you don't want you know steamy breath inhaled did, by each other. Did right. you all, in all the years that you've been with uh, with Drew and Mike, and obviously you know Mike has passed, God rest his soul. But do do you uh, did you ever fight with them? Like, did you ever not get along with those guys? You have your moments. You know, I'm yeah. sure you guys do, too. Um, you know, there could have been some uh, disagreements here who, and there. Who but. who would you uh, have, have a better relationship with, and who did you have a, you know? <laughs> I mean, I know you work with with Drew right now, so, and Mike's not here, but you, and you don't want to defame the dead, but, like, who would you pick? Um, well, I mean, you know, Drew and I are pretty, we're sort of like-minded. Um, okay. But, you know, you have to love Mike. Mike was, when you listen to Mike, and we still have him on our show, if you listen to the Drew and Mike podcast. Yeah. Um, Mike was brilliant when it came to, like, bizarre observances and things like that. Yeah. And, and then, you know, I mean, you, you really got to love somebody who farts on you every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But Mike, right? Bye bye. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you remember. Oh Tr- yeah, Trudy. I think that um, there was that day though. If we're talking about people and when Spike parked his car, do you remember when you were there at our building? Spike Spike used to do a morning show in uh, in Beyond the Edge, right? Your sister yeah. station. Yeah, yeah. We were so just it, talking about it. It was like t- twenty one years ago. It was. Years it was ago. like a big ass yellow Mustang. <laughs> Wasn't that, it that you no. had Spike? Was it? No, not me. Uh, uh-uh. uh. No, I always drove an SUV. What? Yeah. Yeah. You didn't have this big uh, yellow. Well, who, who was that? Come on. I don't know. You didn't have a muscle car, Spike? No. No. <laughs> I wait, what, we what, all what, laugh. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait with a muscle what car. What was the story? So yeah, somebody what? parked it. Where? Um, like he parked about um across three spaces. Oh <laughs> God. That oh. sounds like so. Spike, come on. Oh no, that was the night jock, Graham. He had the yellow Mustang. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Mm-hmm. All these years we've been blaming yeah. you for that. No. <laughs> I can't wait to set the record. There's probably uh, many other things to blame me for. No, but hey, not no, no absolutely not. Can I ask you a question? Because I think about this all the time with, yeah. you know, our old sh- versions of the show, like from, you know, the early days and stuff. Uh-huh. Could you imagine having to start a show up now, nowadays, like half the shit that we all did that now <sighs> we would probably be canceled for? I think I can. I'm kind of excited about that idea. You know, if they uh, if they thought that was a good idea, I'd go for it. But do you like? I, I but pretty much. How much of the stuff that you, you guys know, did in the past could you have done nowadays? Uh, um, well, you know, um, a lot actually. Really? I can't, I can't think back to anything. You know, you I think mean, you, you think butt Mike wouldn't uh, wouldn't get you in Mike trouble? Be, no, butt Mike could be fine. Farts are fun, right? <laughs> You're in the right room for that. Yeah. that oh, uh-huh. really? Oh, God. Yeah. 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 Spike fart out. Well, I mean, she if I do, I say it, but... Can we no, introduce you to too. Butt Spike? Hang on a second. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great bit. All right, so Trudy... By the way, speaking of juvenile, mm. maybe she was referring back to the days <laughs> of uh, of what they did on, on the Drew and Mike show yeah, back we in the days. we were definitely very juvenile. So, all right. I gotta go. Reese, Trudy's go. leaving right now. 
right now. She doesn't think you're juvenile. No, but now I've on. been calling him that ever uh, since that day. Sigh of relief. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna actually give him the nickname now. You know how everybody in radio has to have like juvenile Reese is what we're gonna call him from now on. Uh, okay. Ooh, it kind of play back. You got to play back Trudy. that ass up every time you talk about it. That's right. <laughs> um, Guys, this is the the Trudy, do you, is it bad if I call you a legend? Because you're a legend. Oh. You are. Uh, does that mean, what does that mean? Over. <laughs> no, no, because some people get mad at that because they think it's an age thing. It has no. nothing to do with that. Hall you, of Fame. Yeah. You, not many people have the longevity in this business. So. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure if I'm in that category. I mean, well, like Aretha Franklin is a legend and, you know. But I don't know. All right, I'll take it. Thanks very much. You I, too. All I, of you. You've been farted on by, <laughs> by, by the best. Mike. The best. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Trudy. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Okay. Um, all right. That does it for this podcast uh, today. And uh, thanks for listening to the More Mojo podcast. Me, 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 but also you. <laughs> the Pharaoh fast forwards his favorite foreign film. Pip, 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 powder donut. <clears throat> okay, what's my line? Uh, the only line I see here on the script is get options based on your budget with the name and price tool from Progressive. Oh, man, that's a tongue twister, huh? I'm sorry, I'm going to need a few more minutes. <clears throat> bulbous Walrus, the Bulbous Walrus. The name your price tool, only from Progressive. The owl and a foul of the comatose coxswain. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law.